Hi guys, welcome to another build here. Um, this build I wanted to do a build for the Sith Inquisitor and the Sith Sorcerer. And this build is more of a healing build, so you won't use it so much for leveling as much as you will um, with uh, flash points and so on. But if you're looking for a very good healing build, then this will be the one for you. Um, Basically what we're going to use is the corruption tree and we're going to pretty much max that out. Um, not every single ability but you'll see as I make the build up. First off though, um, you do want a few choice skills before you even start your healing skills. And that's if we move over to madness. Um, if you put two on will of the Sith. And then moving across stick two on reserves. Increase your force power. Stick free on electric induction. That stops your um, attacks costing so much of your force power. Um, if you stick two on lightning barrier, there's your defense. And I think that's it for the lightning and madness trees. Um, moving across, what we're going to do now is we're going to max out the... Um, corruption tree for healing as I say this is if you want to play as a healer a good healer in, um, in on, on flash points and so on so you're going to put haunting presence put two on there um, seeping darkness you're going to stick three on there dark mending you're going to put two on there um, moving up you're going to stick three on lucidity you are going to put one on empty body. Stick two on force of fusion. Moving up, you want to stick two on efficacious currents. Stick two on dark resilience. Stick one on resurgence, which is actually a good healing. Um, ability it's when it starts getting good and you want to stick two on force bending um, basically use these two t together um, but you want to stick two on there and stick two on reconstruct Sith purity you want one on there innovate you want one on there stick two on life search and then moving up, stick two on force surge and stick three on penetrating darkness. Lastly, of course, right at the top, rev action, you want to um, pick that up. And basically, the reason we've done it like that is this, this build you could use for leveling, but it would be more difficult to use it this build is perfect using like flash points and operations and the main skill that you'd be using or not the main one i mean you've got your like your healing abilities here like dark mending and so on um but this revection you want to tell people when you're going to cast it and if they remain in the area um you can obviously heal the tanks and so on as they as long as they stay in the area so try that out if you want to um, start doing flashpoints because everyone's looking for a healer and um, you can use this build and you will actually be a good healer okay guys um, let me know what you think and I will keep them coming cheers